This video will show you how to diagnose CAN bus issues using the Data Link Connector, DLC, and the STAR connectors. During diagnosis, the STAR connectors that are part of the CAN bus wiring provide a real advantage over other bus systems. The connectors allow technicians to disconnect individual modules or groups of modules from the bus at a central location, thus eliminating the need to access individual control modules. Both the STAR connectors and DLC can be used to measure bus resistance and voltage. Refer to the wiring application for STAR connector locations. One method of determining a partial or complete bus failure is to first check bus plus and bus minus voltage for an indication of the possible cause. The most convenient place to do this is at the DLC using a breakout box. Refer to the wiring application for the DLC pinout information, section 8E, communication, of the service information contains a table with corresponding voltage readings for different conditions such as short to battery, short to ground, or wires shorted together. Once you have determined that one of these conditions exists, you can use the star connectors to isolate the cause. For example, suppose a voltage check at the DLC reveals that CAN C- minus is at 12 volts. To begin isolating the cause, access one of the CAN C star connectors and disconnect modules from it one at a time, while checking for a return to normal voltage at the DLC. Repeat the process with the other star connector if disconnecting modules at the first star connector fails to affect voltage. If disconnecting and reconnecting modules at both star connectors fails to affect voltage, it's time to turn your attention to the wiring between the star connectors. If disconnecting an individual module does affect voltage, you can isolate the cause further by disconnecting just the module while leaving the jumper harness connected at the star connector. An alternative method of troubleshooting modules that are not communicating is resistance checks at the DLC and star connectors. You will need to disconnect the battery to perform these checks. Let's examine how these checks work in isolating and open. When a bus has two star connectors, each provides 120 ohms of resistance. Since the bus is wired in parallel, the total resistance of the bus should be approximately 60 ohms. For a bus with one star connector, that connector provides 60 ohms of resistance. If a check of the bus resistance at the DLC for a two star connector bus results in 60 ohms, the star connectors are providing the correct resistance and the wiring between the connectors and the wiring to the DLC is intact. In that case, it's time to access the star connector to check for an open on the other side of the connector resistance. To do this, check for continuity between bus plus on the three pin connector on the star assembly and bus plus at the two pin connectors for each module. Then do the same thing for bus minus. If the resistance at the DLC is approximately 120 ohms for a two star connector bus, the cause is an open in the wiring between the star connectors or an open in the termination resistance at one of the star connectors. In this case, conduct a check of wiring continuity between the star connectors and check the termination resistance of each one with the other star connector disconnected. If the resistance at the DLC is greater than 60 ohms for a single star connector bus, check the resistance between bus plus and minus at the three pin connector on the star assembly. If the resistance is greater than 60 ohms, the star connector is at fault. If the resistance is approximately 60 ohms, the wiring between the star connector and DLC is at fault. Of course, resistance readings can also be used to check for bus wires shorted together. In that case, the resistance check would show low resistance between the two bus wires. If a resistance check shows continuity between a bus wire and ground, just as with the voltage checks, you can disconnect parts of the bus to find the cause. If one module is not communicating on the bus, first check the module for power on ground. Then access the star connector and check the resistance of the wiring between the module and star connector for an open.